Yeah, that was a story that, um, uh, the um, first story I did at 60 Minutes that won a Peabody Award. It was a great story um, because it was sad. We had a, you had a, a high-flying lieutenant colonel um, who was running a running a group in in um, in Iraq. What happened was is that uh, you know, we, there was all this video. We managed somebody sent us a video of the operation, which we had to go to. It was a, some weird format. We had to go to Israel actually to find somebody that could transfer it to our format. And we got a guy by the name of Ralph Hales, Lieutenant Colonel, who was involved in it. And he was so sad about what had happened and was so eloquent in describing how warfare had changed, where you push a button and whoosh, the missile goes and you can't call it back and happens. Sort of the, the, the technological advances that increase the chances of, right. of, uh, of these kinds of accidents happening. The, uh, and he was a very powerful interview, and the, the video and the sound recordings as it unfolded in front of your eyes, it was a very powerful uh, and touching combination. Also, it was a story that I had wanted to do for a long time because it's one of the, if you're a soldier, you're in war zones, you know how often it happens. It happens a lot. First time I was in, came under fire in, in Cambodia with the 25th Infantry Division was from um, 25th Infantry Division uh, artillery. It happens a lot. And um, I think in Grenada, I'm pretty sure of this, there was uh, uh, more people killed by uh, the U.S. killed more of its own soldiers than were killed by the uh, by Grenadians 